What is going on, everybody, and welcome back. It is a glorious day here on the Glorious Sunrise Podcast. My name is Kevin, and we're joined by... John for Channel yes. It Resolves. Heck yeah, it worked that time. You remembered your <laughs> name. I'm so proud. I did. Um, guys, welcome back to the podcast. We're absolutely having a blast on this series, uh, and we've done some deep dives. In the in the last few weeks, we've been talking pretty heavily about New Capenna. Uh, obviously, last week, the championship, and then you know some of the decks that we expected to see, and all kinds of fun stuff over the last couple of weeks. But today, we thought we'd take a step back. Um, part of this due to lack of planning time this week, and part of this just <laughs> due to the fact that I, I think it's important every once in a while to just do a check-in of you know where things are at, where the channel's at, um, and all kinds of important things that hopefully give us a chance to kind of sit down, reflect on what you guys have said, and all kinds of stuff. So um, this is obviously a special one because over the last couple of weeks, obviously John has been running the stream side of It Resolves. Uh, quite successfully, I would argue, but we'll talk more about that as we go. Um, and I, I mean, first things first, I guess I'll just ask a, and open this up to you to say, you know, as far as the stream goes, have you been enjoying it? Do you feel like you've gotten, you know, what you expected maybe, or did you have any expectations going into it? And where do you feel the stream is at right now? Yeah, man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. First of all, you know, the core group came over with the channel uh when we did the partnership so that was really important and uh yeah we did uh the rollout went wrong for streets of new capenna which is when we started <laughs> doing the direct challenges which is what we do on the live stream and it's a lot of fun man they're cutthroat they're cutthroat i love yeah. it though yeah i'd hate for them to i'd hate for them to do challenges and not bring it but uh <laughs> now they tell me if they're gonna play jank and we do jank versus jank or uh they just go all out and uh, we have a blast with it so i'm i I love it, man. It's good. doing really good. Doing really good. And we get uh we're getting people from the It Resolves channel that are starting to pop in now on a regular too. So it's a lot of fun. Good. Well, I'm I'm certainly happy to hear that. And I'll say, you know, a little bit of a peek behind the curtain in terms of the live streams. When you and I initially talked about it, we had it envisioned as like I would play a deck in a video that morning which always goes up at 8 a.m so watch those videos uh and then you would go into it with that deck in the live stream albeit with a couple of your own changes or maybe some changes suggested throughout the live stream you'd test that deck out and kind of run with it but make changes to it so we had it as a structure in our heads that completely diverted after stream <laughs> like the first One. 10 minutes of the first stream <laughs> We were just like, this makes no sense. Why don't we just do it direct challenges? And so we kind of took that that next step immediately, which I'm really glad we did because I do think, um, you know, you look at other YouTubers, especially in the magic world, and it's not it's not easy to handle direct challenges, especially when you get to the really large audience group, because how do you manage that? Um, but I think as we scale up, hopefully, um, you know, we're laying that foundation work of doing something a little bit different here on It Resolves where you can challenge directly, John, and have some fun with it and try different formats, try all kinds of different things. And I, I think that um, for the live stream, that kind of sets us apart pretty substantially. Uh, that hopefully, you know, as more people come and hopefully if you're watching or listening now that you've, you've tuned into the live streams, hopefully you've enjoyed that and maybe even challenged John and maybe even won, the, won a game against John. We'll see. Um, but I, I want to I wanna look at the stream first as, you know, the, the area of the most growth, obviously, with it resolves because we didn't do that for so long. And now, thankfully, again, John, having you on, on board opens up this opportunity for us. And we'd like to continue to take those steps forward, um, especially with the stream, because that is kind of so new to the It Resolves channel and even the direct challenges being new to kind of the magic community as a whole. Um, and so one of those things that we're going to be doing, and I, I, I theoretically, <laughs> we're recording this technically right before this will launch, mm -hmm. ideally. <laughs> uh, everything goes okay, we'll obviously see, but um, the idea is that we're incorporating uh, a brand new system called Stream Loot into the streams. And uh, for those of you who may not know what that is or may not have tuned into a stream or seen it before, um, essentially what we're doing is... It, we're allowing users to interact with the stream in really unique ways. And the way that we're doing that is by creating cards that are 
imagery that you'll recognize that you'll know and love cards like time walker in there some really awesome things that are historic pieces to magic or just really unique pieces to magic but we're rewording the text a little bit uh so it interacts with the stream or does something fun uh that john or a challenge that maybe john has to accomplish which uh some of them may be a little funnier than others as you go through but uh and on top of that we're also incorporating some freebie giveaway stuff throughout those uh, and one of those, are, well, I'll say there are four that we have created up until this point. We do plan to add potentially some more, but you can get some free stuff from the It Resolve store uh, that you normally would have to, of course, pay for or whatever. Uh, now, you do have to buy these stream loot packs, but it is a fun way to interact with the stream. And I'm, I'm actually really curious, John, because you've seen all the cards, obviously. You and I have worked mm -hmm. hard to create all those, but I know for a fact you have got some hesitancies on some funny ones that are in there about, uh, in particular, maybe whispering through the entirety of a game or uh, something like that. So how are you <laughs> feeling about stream loot? No, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely, I think it's going to be a little awkward at first on the funny side of awkward. Yes, hopefully. Um, yeah, no doubt. But uh, <laughs> no, man, they're there to uh, interact with the uh, stream and uh, for good reason, too. So we're also starting uh, the giveaway this month as well. Uh, if you win a match against me, you get entered into the giveaway and uh, you get an entry every time you win. So stream loots kind of goes hand in hand with that, especially with some of the cards that we've got in there. One, I could be, you could be at one life point and I've got death on the board and you can make me concede the game and yep. <laughs> you end up in the entry for the uh, giveaway. And the other thing is too, with the giveaway, uh, it's going to be something that I want personally. So <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> it's going to be the, the, the giveaway prizes are going to be cool, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely Stream Loots plays an interactive part with it, uh, which does make us not only just the first full time direct challenge stream, it makes us the first fully interactive Magic the Gathering stream. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think, um, you know, we're kind of setting, and, and you and I were talking about this prior to recording, that we're kind of setting a precedence for it resolves as being uh, ideally, and this is kind of the goal. Um, to be a little bit more innovative with the way that we're handling things and, and the way that we're structuring the channel. Um, as, a, as a prime example of that, obviously prior to the live streaming and all those kinds of aspects to it, um, while this wasn't completely new, there are certainly other channels that do plenty of this, playing a new deck every day and trying to aspire to play different strategies all the time and, and that kind of thing is a little bit different than you would normally see. I mean, not every channel does that. Um, certainly some do, and that's fine. Um, but that was pushing in a, a slightly newer direction for us because it used to be not, not structured that way. We used to do different stuff. And so it was kind of a push to try some new things, try some new decks and that kind of stuff. And then, of course, with John bringing into the live stream aspect, these direct challenges, hopefully new ways to interact with the stream and create that fully interactive, really immersive live stream experience. Hopefully that's something that continues to to you know push us forward as a channel and hopefully more enjoyment for you guys as viewers. I mean, that's the end goal, right? Is that we we want it resolves to be diverse, but we also want it to be enjoyable for everybody. Uh, whatever kinds of content you want to consume around magic, we'd like to be that resource for you. Um, and so we're kind of working hard to, to build up those things, podcast being one of them, right? Like we, we just started this what less than two months ago i guess now yeah, what episode is two this months. i think this is i think this is six i think okay. this is six yeah. um so yeah i mean this is this is a relatively new thing for it resolves we obviously did a podcast years ago um but we haven't been able to since and so this is really a new fresh start for for the channel in this direction as well that i hope everybody enjoys and allows us to kind of deep dive into conversations and hopefully involve you all so um yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is a really momentous time in It Resolves history or the timeline of It Resolves that we're moving forward with a lot of different things. Uh, now, we do have some plans for the future and all that kind of stuff, but um, I, I just want to kind of get your gauge to kind of back up for a minute, John, and, and mm -hmm. talk about, you know, obviously you have been on for a couple weeks now and you've said you've enjoyed it and all those kinds of things. Are there areas that 
you really, really are like, man, I'm so stoked about this. Or are there areas that you feel like could be improved upon? Like what kinds of things have stuck out to you over your, you know, couple weeks now of uh, being a part of it resolves? Oh man, that's a giant size question from a content creator perspective. Yeah, I know. You know that too. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, I love the interaction with the crowd. I do. I love it when chat starts popping off and I love their competitiveness and stuff and they're cutthroat. And so we, we're the initial name of the community when we're streaming is the country club, but now they're, they're calling themselves the country club Yakuza. So <laughs> I mean, they're just going all out with it because I got to pick my deck from a randomizer wheel mm. and they can bring in and just absolutely smash meta decks if they want, or they can, you know, you can bring in your own deck and uh, I like seeing that. I like seeing when they, I mean, it's fine if you bring in a meta deck and you want to win a game and stuff like that. And that's cool. Uh, but I really like seeing the interactions with uh, what deck styles they get mm -hmm. and stuff and, and their brewing styles. Because you get to learn about people that way with their brewing styles. It doesn't seem like it would, but you do get to definitely <laughs> learn what, what kind of style of play that they like and stuff. But uh, as far as improvements, all the time. You're yeah. always looking to improve it. Uh, we're trying to still get OBS to talk to stream elements. Um, <laughs> instead of just selecting a deck off the top of my head, we went to the randomizer wheel, which has been working really well. Um, and uh, it seems like the community likes having the wheel there instead, because then it is, it's not like I just picked a cutthroat deck to go against a certain person. Mm -hmm. The wheel's picking it for me and they can see it on the stream and stuff like that. So it's a constant evolution of change and trying to improve and learn from any type of mistakes that pop up. But yeah. uh, we're having a blast with it, man. I love the community. I love seeing their brewing styles. That's probably the uh, biggest, my biggest thing that I love about it is just talking with the community and seeing how their week's going and seeing the same faces and seeing some new faces and just getting them to interact with the stream. Well, good. I mean, and you know, it's, it's great that you call that to attention because that was obviously, you know, in talks behind the scenes when we first were talking about going through this process and setting everything up and, you know, the goals of what we were trying to accomplish it was very much to build that community driven aspect into it resolves that you would work so hard to create over on the country fried channel. And, you know, something that we touched on really heavily in the, the announcement episode of the podcast, when we were really going, you know, into this whole kind of acquisition or whatever you want to call it. Um, we, we talked a lot about how we don't want that community to go away. We want it to, to come over with you and hopefully just start expounding upon that and building upon that, not taking it and reinventing what you had already done because there was no need for that, right? Like you had worked really hard to build that. Um, it resolves, I felt, really needed that community dr drive and that that place where people can interact live with the content creators and, and kind of enjoy that experience. And so um, bringing that over and, and hearing from you and actually seeing for myself in some, in some scenarios when I've been, you know, popping into the stream and everything, it's nice to see some of those people like, uh, I'll, I'll call out a few names, you know, Thea, mm -hmm. of course, um, Carl, uh, Billy, like a number of these individuals who are coming to hang out that were already hanging out with you, but that were so supportive of this change and so and continue to be supportive of, you know, the goals that we have here on It Resolves. And so um, I, I do want to say now that we are a few weeks in to everybody that did come over uh, from the original country club. Um, thank you so much for being supportive of this change because it, it really is a big one. Um, and you know, it may not seem like it, hopefully it doesn't, we worked hard to not make it seem like a big deal in terms of, yeah. you know, the structure of the stream and everything, but obviously it is, and it's a new thing. And, and so I wanted to make sure that everybody felt welcomed. Uh, and it's great to know that a lot of every, uh, most everybody hopefully came over with you, uh, and, and hung out. I know a lot of them chat in discord now, and I get to see a lot of that kind of conversation going on too, which is great. Yeah, they definitely uh, they definitely came over. They definitely supported. it. Um, and like I said, it was a little hesitant, hesitant at first. It kind of, um, you know, my main concern was the break in trust because of just the way we rolled it out. And 
we tried to roll it out as gently as possible and i had told him that the channel wasn't going away and then we decided later and i yeah. didn't want to scare him and tell him that the channel's going to delete but you got to wait for the announcement but uh no they were they've been really supportive and the trust is there still Good. uh there wasn't really uh it was at first there, it felt like a little sting but uh they're coming along great and they're super supportive and uh they do they dm me behind the scenes i mean <laughs> you named off some names we got thea and carl and billy but there's also stokes and timothy mm -hmm. and laney laney's our brand new one that's probably only been playing for like five weeks now and he yeah. brings in crazy decks and <laughs> You know, you can always count on Billy to be a pain in the butt with whatever he's bringing <laughs> into the match. And then Thea's cut throat and Stokes and Carl are competitive. But we've also got new faces, too, that are starting to filter in. You know, we got uh, Spencer and Sadistic Angel, which is one of the channel members. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun, man. The personalities are all over the place in that chat. And uh, I absolutely love it, dude. It's, it's so much fun, man. I mean... <laughs> I don't want to think of myself as, a, you know, having an ego or being narcissistic or anything <laughs> like that. But this is my community and I love them. Yeah. I love them, man. They're just, they're just so much fun to hang out with. So not only do I get to play magic and kind of <laughs> in the closest thing to a tabletop version that we can get. Yeah. Um, their support has been uh there, there's just no price on it man. it's yeah. just priceless uh but they're just a ton of fun to hang out with yeah this is just a ton of fun man i you can't hate yeah i cannot hate what i do at all <laughs> uh can't do it man can't do it i get to play magic with a bunch of friends so it's cool well that's certainly the goal and i think you know in terms of uh, uh this the uh, the overarching kind of dynamic that I, I would love to see it result. And you and I have talked about this behind the scenes and said it mm -hmm. in so many words, but the overarching goal of it resolves um, is to be a positive influence in the community and give everybody that safe place to hang out and just play a game. We're here to have fun and play a game. Uh, and so to be able to, to finally do that in a live scenario with the audience, with you, like, it's just kind of a huge culmination of all of this effort and all of these goal setting things that have been building throughout the years that have finally been able to come to fruition thanks to you and the community that you have built and now building that over here, you know, on, on the true it resolves community. And so um, a huge thank you to you and the, the larger community for making this possible because um, I think, I think that positive influence is something that I want to try. And again, you and I have, talked about this i want to try and keep that as the main goal of it resolves uh from here until the end of time right like it resolves should always be i hope for everybody just a safe and fun environment to come and hang out and play some games and so uh it's great to see that r literally coming to fruition <laughs> if that makes sense and yeah you know for <clears throat> for my side of things um and for those of you who don't know to kind of easily break this down for everybody Think of think of it resolves as a 50-50 split at this point between John handling the live stream aspect and at the moment myself handling the recording aspects, so the pre-recorded videos that you see every day and those kinds of things. Um, both are different areas of expertise, both are different areas of work, but we manage it kind of together. And so it's a really nice 50-50 split in that regard in that I, I have complete and utter trust in John and his handling of the live streams. And John's been very supportive of the recorded side of things. And so at this point, it's like we're kind of each doing our own thing. And then every once in a while and doing like the podcast and some other, you know, little one off kind of things, we're able to kind of come together and talk through all these things and be like, yeah, man, this video was awesome the other day. Or, man, that live stream was killer, you know. And so we're getting those little aspects together, which is really fun. But you know all of the the community driven things that you've been working to build up on the the live stream have translated so well over to the recorded side as well we're seeing much more interaction <clears throat> we're seeing a lot more viewership and we're seeing a lot more you know new individuals or even individuals from your you know or, original country club hanging out with us and and influencing the recording as a prime example thea not to pick on thea yeah. but Playing that horizontal oh, planeswalker. Feel free to deck. pick on Thea. Yeah, feel free well. to pick on Thea. Just do it. The style queen herself. Um, but you know that's a oh no, my camera just went dead. That's fine. We'll keep it going. Um, yeah. 
the internal temperature gets a little hot. So let me let me turn that off really quick. Mine's on. I'm I'm literally freezing in this room. The AC is kicking today. I don't know what's going on. I wish. Well, it is actually pretty cool in here, but I got a hot light right next to it, so you'll just see John's pretty face from here. <laughs> um, yeah, there it is. The makeup is good. <laughs> no. Um, um, but seeing you know seeing those real time effects on the recorded side of things, where we're getting new deck ideas because of new community members, is like just exactly what it resolves has been building to all this time and so it's it's such a pleasure to finally get that working and get that seeing uh, get that that viewership that's able to to kind of say hey i've got this deck idea or you know whatever not that we didn't have that before but it's nice just to have some diversity to it it's not that you know jeremy is a prime example uh mm -hmm. the mod in discord and mod mm -hmm. over on youtube and everything like that he sends me deck lists like constantly he sent me like three the other day um, shout out spino raptor yeah he's uh he's been moderating the streams yeah man i like the diversity of the groups yeah. and stuff and the interaction i i think they know too i mean interaction's key to content creation you got to mm -hmm. have it and it helps i mean you don't have to have it you can push content but the interaction just helps kind of smooth it out to let yeah. you know what kind of direction if you're taking it in the right direction or the wrong direction it's kind of a you know that's kind of an a a temperature check yeah and um yeah man they're they're it's a, it's a great group the i mean just the diversity and discord if you're not on discord go hang out on discord man because yeah. discord blows up all the time <laughs> but, yeah we've uh, got a good group in discord for sure yeah but um no they're all pretty good they're all pretty good and I, I i love the fact that it's helping with the interactions of the videos and stuff like that but uh yeah man I don't I can't I can't say enough about the communities uh, just when I started creating content on my own it was wanting to just push it out yeah I was here anyways I like brewing let me push it out and see if something takes effect and you know grabs traction sure and then um, and then the community involvement man I'd never I've heard it before <laughs> I love the community. I love the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, and it, it, at, at times from an outside looking in or watching a content creator, it almost seems like they're placating to, to their community, you know, a little bit, uh, um, just the whole, <laughs> I love it. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and stuff like that. But no, man, you really do. You do get attached to these communities you and do. you do get attached to these people that are, you know, th these individuals that are coming into your streams and and your members. And uh, what? Well, yeah, I can't. It's going to be community and members. I hate calling them subscribers. But, uh, yeah. man, it's just so much fun, so much fun. And like I try and keep telling them, even on stream or even behind the scenes in the DMs, uh, you know, we're, we're the faces. We're the faces, but we're all building this. Look at what you're building. Yes. Look at this. This is awesome. And I think, so. yeah, I mean, you, you hit on such a good point and something that, you know, you, as the, as you said, kind of the faces of it resolves and everything like that, you know, it's great to be in the limelight and it's certainly uh, for those narcissistic personalities like ours, <laughs> um, you know, it's a, uh, it's a great way to, to make you feel good about yourself. But um, <laughs> it, more importantly than that, you know, this this community it resolves and i don't want to speak for your you know previous community but i would venture to say the country fried community um mm -hmm. they wouldn't have existed period if it wasn't for the support that you guys as viewers and as listeners and as people who hang out and stream whatever it might be just su people who suggest decks but can't catch the videos like anything any and all support helps build the community and that's from you guys that I mean, yeah, we create the content, but content doesn't exist without viewership. Um, it's sort of like that old saying, you know, if a tree falls down, does it make a noise if nobody's around to hear it kind of thing? Like you can create all the content you want, but if nobody views it, there's not a community like it doesn't exist. And so it's one of those things where we're really hitting a stride uh, that that feels like we're just really pushing in the right direction. And because of the interaction and the, the reassurance that you guys have shown us, um, that's really showing through now more than ever, I think. And it's just uh, it's a really special time. I think we're hitting a really... I don't want to say golden age of the channel. I think that might be a bit dramatic, but um, it yet. feels Not that yet. way. 
it feels oh, that yeah. way it really does um no that's what we just got to keep driving on and yeah. it's uh they are they're fun they're fun you know and i and i love the fact that i'm starting to get to the point where you know i i see the regulars and stuff and we've got regulars that may not pop up for a week and then they pop back up and you know yeah. you're like hey what's hey i haven't seen you in a week how's it going yeah. everything good you know and then they get to tell you a little bit and stuff but uh yeah man every individual on there is a person behind the behind the name tag and yes. uh and the fact that we're getting we, we've got some pretty big personalities in chat. <laughs> <laughs> that's an understatement well and i'll but, say too um one thing that i wanted to say is that uh it's been a really special time. You, I, I love, there was a scenario that I want to describe to everybody uh, listening because this was such a unique experience that hasn't happened well, in this capacity before. It certainly happened, but not in this capacity. Uh, and you don't know what I'm talking about maybe yet, which is funny. No, um, I don't. <laughs> you, you live streamed, I believe it was last week. Um, mm -hmm. And following said live stream, you proceeded to text me and say, dude, you'll never guess what happened. Oh. Now you know what I'm talking about. Uh, bro, it blew my mind. It, it blew still blows my mind. My mind. Um, so here's the thing, guys. As you all well know, again, on the recorded content end of things, we play a new deck every day. That's kind of become a tagline for us in the recorded content. And with that, I don't always have time to build decks. I have to use, you know, net decking. Go watch that episode. Um, but, you know, we, we utilize net decking. Now, not without crediting whoever created the deck, though. I think that's a very important thing. One of the, the users who obviously makes a lot of decks and does a phenomenal job is Covert Go Blue. Uh, if you don't know who Covert Go Blue is, massive channel, right? Like, does gameplay every day, massive channel, great personality, just a super fun dude. If you haven't watched his channel, please go watch it. But... Covert Go Blue, we've used a handful of his decks and our recordings, and I always tag him and do all the thing. Well, I didn't know that he knew we existed. <laughs> Did either. As it turns out, he hung out in chat with John the other day. Uh, and was I, Explain the scenario. Was it that you were using one of his decks? Uh, so, so we were talking about, so we had, we had thunderstorms in the Midwest, go figure. <laughs> um, and uh, no, that was not the thunderstorm night. So we had a, we had a pet emergency. We had to cancel oh, yes. Thursday night. And uh, so we were going to do a makeup stream on Saturday. And I believe it was Friday we were streaming and I was telling everybody, Hey, you know, we're going to do the makeup stream on Saturday. You guys have been requesting or requesting brawl. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, we're going to do brawl uh, for the weekend Yeah. as one of the formats you can select because you can select anything during the live stream, just not brawl. So yeah. you can do standard historic explorer alchemy because brawl takes a while. Sometimes if both decks start popping off right. and uh, I was like, however, I don't have a whole lot of brawl decks built, but I did build, Covert Go Blues list from today, the uh, Niv Mizzet list, mm -hmm. and uh, I said it looked like a lot of fun. And as soon <laughs> as soon as I said that, <laughs> up in chat pops Covert Go Blue. <laughs> Solid choice. <laughs> so so matter of factly. <laughs> so and then um, yeah, I fan freaked a little bit. Yeah, and I'm he was still like, fan freak. It's been like I week. know, man. I know. How can you not? But he was like, you know, it's all good. Thanks. You know, I told him I dig the content, bro. Yeah, and of course. The snark is top notch. <laughs> uh, but uh, he was like, thanks. Uh, just do your thing. Now, look, I understand. I don't think he frequents chat too often because no. when you uh, when you're on a covert go blue scale. <laughs> I think yeah, a lot I mean, of people we're... tend to I think a lot of people tend to drive focus away from the stream yeah. to the fact that that person's in chat and uh real respectable that he um he would dip out I mean whether he was watching behind the scenes or not very respectable that he would dip out and understandable too so the focus could stay on the stream and that's kind of what he was saying was just yeah. you know thanks do your thing and uh but yeah, man, it freaked me out. And we get content creators in here all the time. We got Cairo we do, and we yeah. got Man of Man and we got Jay Villain and we get Watts. Yeah. Uh, uh, you popped in. That's how we met. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think else. We had Putin. Um, 
there's been there's been uh there's been there's been quite a few that pop in and out of the stream well uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun it is a lot of fun and like one of the things that i've noticed is like the channel is growing and those kinds of things you know when you're a a i'll say small time content creator is in a newer content creator so you probably have like less than a thousand subs you're doing the grind like you're doing everything right it's just you're new and so that audience hasn't had time to build up and that kind of thing mm. i having been there and grinded through a lot of that i was like okay i would love to reach out and work on collaborations with other content creators i personally found it very difficult and i don't know that you and i have talked about this but I personally found it really difficult during that time to get people to collaborate, um, just in general. I, I always found there was a barrier. They felt like, and rightfully so, right? Like we may not have had, It Resolves may not have had an audience to provide this other content creator because they were a bigger content creator. So like most of that audience, you know, overlap was probably already there. Um, and so I felt really like, just kind of stuck because every time I would reach out for a collaboration, I would either get no response or, you know, I would get like, well, thank you so much, but no, like, you know, keep going, whatever. And you get those positive comments, but like, it's not, it didn't feel like other content creators really cared if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds dramatic and I'm not throwing any names under the bus because I don't think that's necessarily how they felt. I'm just saying that's how it felt at the time being the small time content creator. And so after, I mean, uh, to put things into perspective, obviously we're bigger now. We're not a big content creator in the magic world. There are much bigger ones, Covert Go Blue. If you're looking at numbers, has 150 some odd, you know, thousand subs. We're at maybe almost seven. So like we're yeah. getting there, but we're not anywhere near on that level. Um, but what I will say is, you know, the collaborations and the ability to to talk to other content creators and be positive and hopefully find some common ground regardless of size that you can collaborate on a podcast episode or uh in our case it was a mini series that led into a podcast episode like those kinds of things is such a refreshing change of pace that i don't know if it's like this new crop of content creators is just way nicer or <laughs> or what it is but like a lot of the content creators that we see pop in and hang out are just so positive and so nice. And like, you know, you and I have talked a lot behind the scenes about collaborations and stuff and how we want to handle those. And that's all part of the plan, long-term plan of the channel is to, to bring in some others that hopefully um, uh, offer a new perspective or at least a positive attitude and are working towards that goal that we've already set for it resolves. Um, and it's, I don't know, man. It's refreshing to see all these positive, you know, content creator faces like Cairo, like Mana Man, uh, you know, J Villain pops in. We've got tons of just really nice people that come and hang out. Like it's a blast. Yeah, no, it really is. Uh, we had talked about it before. We had talked about okay. it before. You, uh, the frustration, the frustration of seeking a collab and at, earlier yeah. and not getting it. Um, however, I think in hindsight, looking at it, look, I married into the money, so <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but uh, no. Um, look, <laughs> it's. I try to tell people it's not what you think it is. No. It really isn't. The money is not huge yet. No, um, but. Uh, Beside the point, <laughs> with the with the collabs and stuff, I think in hindsight, looking at it, it might have been like us, man. I mean, yeah. we're very selective when we talk about this. We 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 pick, we talk about collabs and possible potential projects moving forward and stuff, and we we literally play devil's advocate back and forth yeah. to each other's statements, and it's you know as as beside the friendship you have to go at it from the professional aspect too, even yes. with friendship intact, because you got to do what's right for the channel and what's right for the content and the community that we're building. Because like you said, a, a lot of the content creators are really nice now and stuff like that. And I don't know that it's the case. I don't know that it's the case that a lot of the content creators are just super nice. I think it's the ones that are thriving are super nice. We've got, mm. there's enough real world stuff going on. When I hop on magic, I don't want real world. 
Yeah. I want I want to play my magic. I want to play my magic and hang out with my crew and talk about magic and maybe movies and TV or books yeah. or music. But that's it, man. I don't want to get into any serious conversation and definitely not uh, during a live stream. It just leads to a bunch of division. And yeah. if I wanted that, I'd go watch the news. One of, <laughs> you know, 6,000 24 hour live news channels that there yeah. are. Um, but uh, I think magic itself has always been an escape for me yeah and even the brewing aspect and in an adh adhd type mind to have to focus and brew mm -hmm. you, you you start to realize you draw the curtains on everything else and shut down while you're focusing on that and uh, when i boot up magic to play and i go into my live streams I want to play magic and I yeah. want to talk to my community and I want to hang out. And I think, I think the ones that are going to thrive are the ones that can give that little break and escape. And I don't want to say happy space or, you know, whatever, no, yeah. but, uh, but they just, you know, you kind of want to, you kind of want to feel like you're at your local bar, just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to, you, you, it's a stress reliever, not a stress inducer. Hopefully, so if you're doing so, it, right. Right. right, right. Well, well and, I know, don't know, man, depending on who's playing against me, well, maybe, that's sometimes true. they're a stress <laughs> inducer. So no, but, uh, no, man, I think for the most part, I think magic has got one of the best communities and it's still super competitive community, but it, deep down inside man it's so diverse yeah well and um, you know we've talked about this i think on the podcast before one of the most like positive experiences that i've ever had is incorporating you know that friendship aspect into what is just truly at the end of the day it's a card game we're just here to have fun and play mm -hmm. a game but to be able to bring that competitive nature and that friendship together into a place where like you can sit down have a competitive game with a friend really enjoy that competitive game and yeah you might be a little sore loser or in my case i know i'm a sore winner um <laughs> when i do win um and i y you know like you have that like silly saltiness going on or whatever but at the same time like you're sitting there and if i have a question about a play like what what do you think is the line even in a competitive you know sitting at home hanging out with friends kind of game it's okay to just like talk it through and like you still have that open communication and like, yeah, you might get a little salty at the end of it, but like, it's okay. Like it's still just a game. We're all just here to have fun and, and enjoy it. And yeah, you can be competitive. You can be as competitive as you want. You can be a pro player if you want. Um, that's not my goal. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so I, I try really hard and this, I hope shows through in the videos to not allow myself to get super upset about a win or loss, uh, not to get super kind of douchebaggy if i do win you know what i mean like I, just because you know it happens unless i will say unless somebody does the crappy thing where they thought they were going to win the game and all of a sudden they're not winning anymore and so they just like yeah. leave the game um, the early good game the emote spams yeah Ugh. i hate that um but I will say, you know, for the most part, I think, John, you and I both try to exhume that, like, positive behavior, most importantly, because it is just meant to be a for fun game. Um, try. I try. try. I mean, Not always I successfully. Try. I do try. I try and tell my crew, too. I'm a, the, the, when, when, when we're our crew. I keep saying my crew. It's our crew it now. It is but, our crew. Um I try and tell them, man, I'm salty. I'm a salty loser. <laughs> and they will. <laughs> and they'll they'll spam it and chat too if I lose and I yeah. and I don't have a smile on my face. <laughs> they'll be <laughs> like, salt's real. You're getting salty. Well, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <it's, laughs> uh but that's you know, that's um hasn't happened so much since we brought in the randomizer. To yeah. see that's that always improving. And I, yeah. I do. I wish I could improve on being a better loser <laughs> so, so um but having the randomizer will and then them being allowed to bring in whatever decks they want of course yeah um sometimes you just you're not going to win it regardless. alleviates a little of that pressure I would yeah imagine. it does it does and i've told them before and i look i can be your magic the gathering arena therapist if you want me to <laughs> just absolutely lose and you pop off and do your combo let me know if that's what you need let me know yeah. i can provide that yeah um but uh 
no i do i agree man it's a it's a great friendship community we have back in the commander days there'd be six of us sitting at the table and you know you call somebody an asshole one game and then the next game you're pairing up against everybody else yeah do you want to pair up on this yep let's go (laughs) and it's just you know the 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 arguments or the entanglements of the game that frustrate you or get you aggravated are gone like that if you let it go if you let it go uh but yeah in the end you got to remember it is game and the and and the uh the thing you're 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 trying to win that is that is the that is a part of it so so uh but no it's great friendship man it's it really i the i miss my local stores i miss my commander groups um and stuff like that but uh now i got streaming and i and we've got a whole new community there and it's like kind of recreating it so if we ever went into lockdown again we all got a place to hang out and and still play kind of tabletop magic because you can bring whatever you want in and yeah. it's it's yeah man i love this community man magic who knew it's who the knew? best man it's the absolute <laughs> best and again i just want to say and extend a huge thank you to to all the viewers all the listeners and everybody who hangs out with john on live stream myself in the recorded videos all that um it first of all it's great to have you as part of the community you can berate us i don't care in the comment section but at the end of the day we're happy that you chose to watch us and hopefully you know you enjoy it more than you hate it um (laughs) i know every (laughs) once in a while i get a comment that's like wow that game was cringe and they're probably right but at the end of the day i don't really care if they um, took the time to comment on it, I hope I hope your food tastes great with that salt. Yeah. I really do. Honestly. But thanks for leaving the comment and driving up the algorithm. I was going to say, we appreciate it. Um, <laughs> all that to say, guys, it resolves, I think, um, you know, with the addition of John and the live streams and hopefully expanding upon the community that we've already worked hard to, to build. I really do think that it resolves as moving in the right direction and, and growing. Um and certainly everything seems to be pointing that way. And so uh, truly thank you to everybody here, including John, uh, for, for making this possible. And we will seek uh, new opportunities in terms of continued improvement. Those are things that are always at the forefront of both John and I's head. Uh, and so we will be thinking of those things and working towards those things. I would open up any suggestions from anybody who might have a comment, might have a a suggestion might have some even just a small improvement say like ah that camera quality sucks i don't know could be anything no 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 it doesn't no um, <laughs> because my camera quality compared to yours <laughs> well mine's off right now up. so it's really bad um, oh well, mine rocks right now i hope you like the wait, blue wait, wait. let's see if we can hold on let's see if we can <laughs> turn mine on again we'll uh We'll, we'll see if it'll stay on. Um, but all that to say, guys, you know, your comments are welcome. We would appreciate any and all uh, in general support and and uh, comments on improvement because we're certainly looking to continuously do that. Um, but, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in a good place, man. I'm excited to have you on board, and it seems to be going really well so far. So I'm just stoked for it. I'm excited to be on board, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, I mean, we call it an acquisition when we talk a lot, but it was, it, 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 be, it is a partnership. If it's they saw behind the scenes, I got the passwords, folks. He's not going to piss me off. That's true. So, <laughs> he does right, have no. the passwords. He has the ability to cancel the channel now. Um, <laughs> so, actually, no, yeah. I don't know that. No, you do. You do. I do. You I do. do. I know all the passwords. Yeah, you I know, know all, all the passwords. Um, it's not going to happen, though. Not no, absolutely happen. not. I wouldn't have given you the passwords <laughs> if I thought that was an issue. Um, but all that to say, guys, it's going to be great. It Resolves has a very bright future ahead, and I'm very excited for it. Uh, so do stay tuned. We'll be continuously making improvements as we go, and I, uh, I hope you take the opportunity to hang out with John on the live streams, hang out during the videos, uh, hopefully learn something along the way. But more importantly, just have some fun, man. That's what it resolved yeah. us here to do. We're here to yeah, be fun. Bring it on. Come challenge me. Yeah. Come hang out with the crowd, man. Let's play some tabletop. Show us your dumb stuff. Hell yes. That's all we've ever wanted. Just dumb <laughs> stuff. Um, <laughs> well, with that, we are going to come to the end of the episode again. This was kind of just a state of the channel. So um, not a whole lot of craziness going on this week, but obviously some announcements with stream loot and all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. But at the end of every uh, podcast episode, we've traditionally kind of talked about something non-magic related, uh, most mm-hmm. of the time at least. So 
John, I'll open it up to you. You got anything uh, exciting going on that's non-magic related in your world? Yeah, man, I'm going to open this one up for uh, interpretation. My butt. <laughs> My butt. <laughs> so, oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, it's going to be that kind of episode. <laughs> apparently, apparently, I've got bony butt disease. Um <laughs> I do, man. I've had this game. So this is like my Father's Day gift like two years ago. My wife got me and yeah. it's got like a pullout footstool that's mounted to it. And okay. I've mounted a keyboard plate to the other arm. So mm -hmm. I literally just sat in this chair. That's why if you're I'm on live stream and I got to do my keyboards, I got to lean out of camera to go to them because I'm super lazy and comfortable right now. But <laughs> pun intended, my... Um, posterior is uh, apparently bony i've knocked out the cushion of this thing pretty much oh. it it, it oh, starts no. hurting after a two-hour stream yeah i know <laughs> so my father's day gift for this year oh yes my Wait lovely my yeah my lovely wife likes my comfort and apparently likes my rear end too so hey -oh. i have got Oh, look at this. A nice gel inserted seat cushion. Oh, my God, I'm jealous. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. You should be. Because, dude, I tell you what, it is super comfortable. <laughs> it is super comfortable. I'm not going to try and put it back on the chair now. <laughs> but, That's amazing. Uh, I love but that. But, yeah. Um, I complained to her about a week and a half ago about it. And, uh, and I was like, damn, man, I'm really, it hurts <laughs> after about two hours of staying in that chair. <laughs> And uh, we talked about it. Uh, she just kind of laughed, and I blew it off. I was I was using towels rolled up. Yeah. And uh, no, she walked in the house yesterday with a box that was on the porch that I didn't hear, and she was like, "Here's your Father's Day gift. Hope you enjoy." It's like, baby, you saved my ass. Literally, wow. literally saved my ass. I love that. <laughs> Your so, wife is amazing. That's so she freaking is, cool. man. She is. That's man. That's the little things. Yeah. You don't always think somebody's listening, but your significant other. They're listening. I listen to her. She listens to me. Just like uh, I made strawberry cake yesterday there from scratch. Go. She loves strawberry cake, and I put real strawberries in it. We did Ooh. a cream treat cheese frosting, and I did a sugar glaze on some sliced strawberries on top. Yeah. She had mentioned it a week ago that she wanted strawberry cake. Boom. There you go. Love it. So, yeah, man. You guys are so my supportive. Wife, yeah. Yeah. That's well, so I got to nice. be, man. She, she's my ride or die, man. Yeah. I'd like to say that you're my ride or die, but she's my ride or die. Look, I'll take a close second. That's there, you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. So that's my story. My wife saved my ass this week. Heck yeah. I <laughs> love that. Go. That's amazing. Good for her, man. That's so freaking cool. Yep. Um, well, I will, I'll say, um, Caitlin didn't necessarily save my ass this week, although <laughs> she has been very supportive in doing TCG player orders. I had an, nice. I had a day where I had like 40 something orders to fill and I'll tell you, I don't know if you've ever sold a lot on TCG player. It gets really monotonous and old just sitting there and like filling orders all day. Um, Caitlin always is like, do you have any orders to fill? And she'll like pop in and find the cards while I'm like writing out the envelopes and stuff. And it's just so nice. So I will say in that regard, she really did save my ass the other day because we had a lot of orders. But um, more importantly, we were, we've been cleaning. Obviously, that's part of where this whole office redesign and all that kind of stuff came from. And so we've been cleaning up in our house a good bit. Uh, she's been doing classroom stuff and getting stuff over to school for next year. Um, and in doing so, we were cleaning off one of our bookshelves and she found a handful of books that were hers that she just no longer wants for whatever reason nobody else wanted. So she couldn't pass them along. And so we were looking for a local <clears throat> like used bookstore that would take them and we were just going to donate them. We were going to go to Goodwill, but we'd rather go to like a, a true bookstore where people might actually buy it that want it, if that makes sense. Um, and so we... There, there's one in Main Street or down in uh, downtown uh, where we are that doesn't really take them. She ended up calling them, but we found another one that was nearby. And so we were like, oh, we'll, we'll go check it out. We'll go drop off the books. We'll see what kind of books they have, you know, whatever. Um, I am so glad that she found this bookstore. It might be my new favorite place. It is amazing. It is just 
you walk in and it's just books everywhere. It's not even mm-hmm. just like, yeah, they've got a lot of books. It's like you can barely walk around because there are too many books. And it's not that big of a place, but it's like slammed full with just tens of thousands of books everywhere. And it's amazing. And you can tell when we walked in, there were like all the people who worked there were just hanging out at the front and just like talking books, talking their latest reads, you know, whatever. And you could tell they were just all nerds who like to read. And I was like, sick, these are my kind of people. And so we, you know, got to talking with them and whatever. And then we ended up looking around and I found, um, which I'm really excited to read. I don't, are you a big reader, John? I never asked you that. I am, man. And unfortunately, the probably like the last four or five years. Yeah. Uh, just haven't haven't had time to do it as much as I, I used to. Sure. But I do, man. I love it. Well, I mean, I, you guys may not see it depending on what the camera frame is, but I got Stephen King's Needful Things yeah. signed. Ooh. It's a signed copy back there. Well, that's cool. And <laughs> uh, got to meet him. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, met john sanford met um james patterson yeah dude i love it man i love it i'll lose myself in a bookstore yeah oh yeah 100 percent um and so i i do read a lot of magic novels to kind of tie it back to magic a little bit but i also just in general love a lot of the like literary classics so um i love going back and reading like the old sherlock holmes books or uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is like my go-to favorite book. Um, <clears throat> I've read a lot of just random stuff. I like uh, um, H.P. Lovecraft, which isn't classic anyway, but it's really my interesting. My youngest son. I don't he... like the guy, H.P. Lovecraft. He yeah. was a douche, but I do like his writing. Um, and he's dead, so I'm okay to support the books. <laughs> there you go. Um but all that to say, uh, I do like a lot of classics. And I, years ago, picked up Dante's Inferno uh, to, to try and read through that. Man, I didn't have any kind of like true grasp of what I was getting into. <clears throat> I started reading it and I was like, nope. I read like three pages. I said, nope, way too much for me. Can't do it. I had no commentary on it. There was literally just Dante's Inferno. That's it. Uh, translated into English. And so... I found at this used bookstore the full trilogy, so the full Divine Comedy, um, with commentary, with the original, uh, I believe it was Italian, and uh, like notes, imagery, all kinds of stuff packed into this like three book set. And I was like, well, guess I'm buying that. (laughs) And so I've, I've finally picked up the full Divine Comedy and I can't wait to jump into it with commentary so I can actually understand what's going on because my little puny brain doesn't understand everything. No, man, good luck. So, yeah, yeah, you're tasting books. Uh, that's that's our youngest. So I say youngest. He's 22. Yeah. That's him perfectly, man. Uh, and he, he's got he, – he read the whole uh, Dante's Divine Comedy um all three of them in the trilogy so Mm -hmm. if you ever i don't know what you got your hands on but if you ever want to get rid of it (laughs) give me a shout and we'll make a deal because uh he would love it man and he uh he was he had really gotten into dune Mm -hmm. and it was funny that you brought up the bookstore because i went back i want to say well i guess it was christmas um and i did i finally sourced him a hard copy of dune nice and yeah well so was the price yeah, but, I bet. Uh, yeah. but uh no we got some of those stores here man we got we got uh, the books of holics which is like it's almost like a grocery store size bookstore yeah of used books and new books and the staff you know you you get you know the staff's a bunch of bookworms because they know right where to go and i yep. love that man and i love the smell of bookstores oh, I, love, so nice. I love it and we got another new one that not only has books but it's also got lps and mm-hmm. graphic novels and some of the like todd mcfarlane figures and stuff like that, that you yeah. can, and it's even got a game section so yeah dude bookstores bro yeah, They're something awesome. special. I read a lot on my Kindle. I do have just like an older generation Kindle. That I do I read. too. It's so convenient. Like it's hard to pass that up. But with something like that, I was really happy to find like a, it's a paperback, you know, mm-hmm. series, but I was really happy to find that. And so I just figured, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up because I haven't been able to really get through it in a long time. So 
I'm uh, I'm curious. I'm really interested. I'm uh, I'm finishing up the the Thran actually, the original Thran novel um, from Wizards or whoever owned it at the I don't know who owned it at the time. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm finishing that up and I'm learning about Yogmoth and his uh, his the fall of the Thran and all that stuff and it's fascinating. Um, for for nerds of the true lore of magic, it's, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's badly written, but it's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, there are some books out there that are rough to get through, just because yeah. they're written not great. But, Typos uh, are rough, man. In magic novels, like you <laughs> yeah. can tell, it wasn't the focus, and that's okay. But <laughs> well, now they just now they should just rank or buy Grammarly and just yeah. Fix honestly, it. it'd be so easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, very cool. All that to say, guys, we have got a lot of awesome stuff coming with it resolves in the near future. Please do check all of the content out um, and do follow and subscribe if you're not already. Um, first of all, welcome, and hopefully this has been enticing for you. But second of all, it really would mean a lot uh, uh, to us to have you in the community, and we certainly hope you'll stick around and enjoy some of the other content. So uh, if you're listening on Spotify or the podcast app, make sure you follow there as well so you can get notified every Monday when these go live. Uh, Monday, 6 a.m. Eastern is when these go live, just so everybody knows. Um, but all that to say, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a glorious day. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Yes. Every time. <laughs>